Chain of Custody Guidelines Chain of custody is a procedure that ensures that a specimen is always in the custody of a person who is legally responsible for maintaining the integrity of the sample. Chain of custody starts with patient identification and follows the sample from collection through processing, testing, storage, and disposal. The entire process is carefully and thoroughly documented and reduces the potential for samples to be tampered with accidentally or maliciously. It also guarantees that the results reported are from the correct patient. Additionally, if the results should ever need to be used for legal purposes, chain of custody documentation is used to authenticate the evidence. Laboratory Test Results All laboratory tests have normal ranges for test results. The specific normal lab values are determined by the lab conducting the test. When a test is complete, the technician running the test will receive the results, which will indicate if the result is within the normal test range or not. Normal results are distributed and reported based on the facility's guidelines and procedures. Abnormal test results may be considered critical. Whether the abnormal test result is critical or not is determined by the specific test being run and the facility's guidelines on critical results. When critical results are determined by a lab test, the procedure is often to call the person caring for the patient or the charge nurse immediately. Then, protocol for notifying the physician is followed.